Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your mid-August. And what I mean by that is um, if you have financial entanglements with other people, you need to make sure that assets are divided up cleanly. You need to be very clear about where you stand on the financial foundation with another person. And you need to just, you know, sort out how much is coming in. How much do I need to save? How much do I need to allocate for certain things, certain expenditures in my life right now so that I can be certain of how much I need to be, you know, giving out or earning by the October, November timeframe. I feel that you need to really, really get that sorted out because once you hit the ground running, um, in the later part of this year, I feel like you're not going to have time. You're not going to have, you know, the luxury of timing on your side to go back and sort this out. Even if you were to sort this out at a later date, especially uh, October and November, I feel like it's just gonna, uh, it, it's like you're gonna be, you know, um, neck deep in a lot of things. So sorting this out is not going to be as easy as it is if you had, you know, taken the time to sort it out right now. So please get that taken care of, okay? Especially if you are financially linked up or you're thinking about financially linking up with another person. Get things squared away on, on your end, okay? I feel as if some of you are uh, dealing with an authority figure at work. And for many of you, I feel like this is a male figure. This is somebody that is graying. Um, so I feel like they he might be a little bit on the older side. He might be, um, his health, I, I feel like is not at his best. And I also feel that he is clinging on. He's hanging on. He's trying to, you know, portray the image of I'm strong. Everything is fine. I can take care of myself. I can handle it. this. I can take it. But I do feel internally he's dealing with a lot of family, like personal issues at home. He's dealing with, I, I feel like some back pain and I do feel like some, you know, just, just the wear and tear on the body as he ages. So I feel like this is somebody where he might be dealing with physical symptoms and it might create a very ornery, a very, um, like grouchy, um, person, like it, it can, you know, affect his demeanor for the worse. So he might be extra demanding, extra grouchy, and just, you know, uh, grumpy in the work front. So this is something you want to anticipate. And you also want to give him, you know, that leeway, that that sympathy, that understanding too, because I feel like he wasn't always like this. He just became like this recently. And so, you know, give him that, that benefit of the doubt, because I feel like he's dealing with some internal aches and pains. Okay. For, for some of you, it could be like a boss, um, a supervisor for others of you, a father that you're dealing with. Okay. If, if it's like a home-based business, I feel like this is somebody directly, um, kind of like in charge of you. And I do feel that he's dealing with some things. It could be emotional or even physical, but I do see more physical symptoms. Um, I do see leg pains. I do see like muscle spasm. I do feel like di diminishing energy as well, where he's kind of pushing himself a little bit too hard. And then I also feel for others of you, if this is a supervisor, it's almost like he's somebody that wants to play both sides, wants everybody to like him. So he doesn't make these difficult decisions decisions. Um, he's kind of like telling you to do it so that you might come out to be the bad guy rather than him. So I, I do feel there are some issues here in the work environment that you're dealing with. Um, I feel like for the next two weeks, so keep in mind, this reading is going to run roughly from the 15th to the end of August. I see you, somebody coming through, um, and they're like, let me just tell you what's what I want. Let me tell you what's going to happen. And of course, they're going to, you know, give you some half attempt at a plan. They're going to give you some half baked plan. And you're just like, wait a minute, let's back up a little bit. Let me tell you what's going to happen. So I feel like you're taking a very no, no nonsense approach when it comes to not tolerating people coming in with half baked plan. I feel like they're coming in with all of these ideas and you're the one that is going to have to make these difficult decisions by telling them you haven't done the work. You, you, you're not, you don't know what you're saying. So I feel like those words will literally escape your lips 
And I feel like you might be a little bit frustrated that people are coming to you when they haven't done the proper research, when they haven't done the proper, you know, like the, the, the business proposal from their end, or they haven't really looked at the figures closely, or they're just not realistic with their expectations. And so I see you having to do this with at least three people. And I feel like your words are going to cut just a little bit. So I want you to tone down and soften your approach a little bit. Because I feel like some of you are influenced by the fact that, you know, the person that the, the, the authority figure that you're dealing with is like difficult. And so you might be internalizing the frustration, internalizing the frustration that is creeping in when you deal with him, and then you might take that out on other people. So I just want you to be a little bit careful. For some of you, someone is coming in, and I feel like it might be a relationship partner or an ex-relationship partner, like an ex that you are still financially linked up with. And they're like, let's do this, let's do that, let's see if this is going to work. And you're just like, no, let me show you or let me tell you what I want and what I expect. And so you're going to be very clear and vocal and decisive about, you know, what do we need to move the relationship forward, okay? I also feel somebody that you're living with, sharing space with, um, you know, who is in your housing environment, there might be a little bit of uh, troublesome news related to them, okay? So it could be a um, family member if you're living with them. It could be a romantic partner. It could be, you know, a myriad of people as long as you're sharing living physical space with them I feel like they're going to come in and they're going to present you with some news and they might even ask for advice what do I do they might even ask for your expertise and I feel like you're going to need to maintain your composure and really walk them through the process okay and I feel that I, I feel a very strong air sign in your midst so this is Aquarius Gemini Libra somebody you're sharing space with somebody you're living with and somebody that is um, that you're going to have a very serious discussion with. Um, I feel like this energy might not be um, contained in, you know, the last two weeks of the month. It might drag out from now until September. But I do feel a very serious conversation that needs to be had as to some some major change around based on living arrangements or based on, you know, what do we do moving forward? So I do feel like there might be some jarring energy, a falling out, a, a dispute, a, an argument or something like that. But they are coming in and they are going to want to have a sit down conversation with you and talk about things. Um, others of you, career looks very, very good. And uh, I just did the Libra reading and I mentioned for them, you know, um, you have a very good placement. This is an astrological placement that is entering is Jupiter going into Scorpio on October 10th, 2017. And I feel like that's when a lot of good opportunities will be coming into the picture. So for those of you who have suffered from, you know, um, relationships that have really gone nowhere and relationships that left you, you know, with a, with a, an emotional void, I feel like you're going to have a lot more luck after the October time frame. So make yourself available to date. Okay. But I do feel the time from now until October, it's all about tying up loose ends, letting things go from the past and figuring out, you know, moving forward, how you can be financially dependent, like independent, how you can be emotionally independent. And so you can reap a lot of rewards coming through with this uh, Jupiter transit happening on October 10th of this year. And so what I would advise you to do is, um, you know, put the, the, put a little bit of a stop on the dating situation for now and revisit it in the October timeframe, because it seems like you have other things that you need to tie up and you might use relationship as a little bit of a distraction. Okay. Um, the other thing coming through here they are really telling you to, you know, reassess where you are keeping yourself a little bit too, um, I want to say like too sequestered. So I feel many of you, your social life is lacking 
And um, it would be a good time for you to, you know, re-engage with old friends, reach out a little bit, make time to really improve your social life. You know, it's not just about gym, work, home. It's not just about those three things. It's about finding more meaning in, in, in life, you know, reaching out, doing things that you loved or enjoy as a child, and, and especially carving the time to really do recreational activities. So if you are, you know, single, Carving time out to, you know, network, to socially or even professionally network, going to seminars, attending, you know, book clubs even, to just kind of find, tr to, to try to find that community that you really identify with. And then for others, if you have children, you know, network with other parents. Make sure you expand your social circle a little bit. There will be a lot more opportunities to do that towards the end of the year. But I do feel a lot of you, rather than distracting yourself with relationships that really go nowhere, and even though you might not want to. I also see a lot of family um, get-togethers, like weddings, anniversaries, um, engagement parties, bridal showers, baby showers. Um, I also feel as well there might be addition to your family. Um, so that can be people marrying into the family, um, people having children, taking on the surname. I also want you to be very, very careful when it comes to, you know, unplanned pregnancies and things like that. And I feel like this energy is coming up now, but it will continue for the next four months. So just be very, very careful. Um, ladies out there, if you are not expecting, if you are not planning to get pregnant, I do feel that you need to be extra careful when it comes to your method of, you know, your personal method of birth control. Okay. And then um, guys out there, if you are not planning to get pregnant, get somebody else pregnant or have children, you also need to take up, you know, the responsibilities from your end, okay? It's a two-way street. And so I do feel a lot of new things are in store for you, but this is a month to draw your energy back and to sort out loose ends, tie up loose ends so you can be on your merry way when October rolls around, okay? So I wish you the very best, and I feel like the next two weeks, um, the energy needs to be busy, but it feels like you're just like, uh, you're, you, it feels like internally you might not have the motivation to get a lot of things done, and that's okay. Don't beat yourself up over it. But I do feel that some things need to be sorted out, so that means, you know, tie up loose ends so that you don't have it hanging over your head, okay? Take care of yourself, Scorpios. I wish you the best. Bye-bye.